What's up? In case you're wondering what's up with the mask, I had a little shaving accident. People want the lockdown to get over because they want to either go and meet their parents, they want to meet their loved ones. I wanted to meet my Pani Puri wala. But now, the one person I miss the most is the guy who trims my beard. Okay, and those who have a beard will understand my pain. Uh, he's the only man who's allowed to touch my face. I miss him. Anas, wherever you are, you are an amazing guy. Because my beard was all over the place, I tried trimming it myself. And then the worst possible thing happened. One side se thoda zada cut gaya, dusre side se thoda kam kata. To wo balance karne ke chakkar mein yaha se thoda zada ho gaya, yaha se kam ho gaya. Wo balance karne ke chakkar mein now I'm left with two bald patches over here. You know, like aadha side shaved hota, aadha nahi hota. So it's similar to that. Luckily, I have this. Uh, this can also be a promotion for wearing masks, okay? You should always wear a mask while talking. I, I should do this more often because I normally end up spitting on all my kids when I'm talking in class. Today, I'm doing something different. Uh, v, hey, star, I can see him. Hey, buddy, hi. Anyways, so I'm not talking about five rules like I normally do. I'm going to focus on two mistakes that people commonly make while trying to talk in English. And this is not just for people conversing verbally, but also people trying to write essays and letters or writing skills. They end up making these two common mistakes. So if you avoid these mistakes, not only will your grammar become stronger, but also your spoken English and written English. And at the end of it, I'm also going to give you one trick to improve your writing skills. So let's start. Mistake number one. Not many people understand the difference between tell and say. And it's the most commonly made mistake. I'll give you an example. You say me. Say me what's wrong. He told to do that. The teacher told that. The teacher told to submit the book. Now, those who are fluent in English will find this ridiculous. Uh, but believe you me, it's more often than usual you'll hear people making these mistakes. Okay? So, tell and say how to use these two words. Simple way to avoid this is to understand the rule that told ke pehle and baad mein speaker and listener aana chahiye. He told me. Speaker told the listener. Simpler way of remembering it, you tell someone, but you say something. He told me. He said me nahi aata. Because listener and speaker said ke baad nahi aata because you say something. You can't say someone. Okay? You can tell someone. So he said that. Said ke baad, usually that aata. Okay? So you say something. Here's an example of a correct way of using this. He told me that he's not coming today. He said me that he's not coming today is incorrect. He said that he's not coming today. That's correct. Okay. So said ke baad, that told ke baad, a listener's name. People making this mistake will realize what I mean. If you're not making this mistake, great. If you are making this mistake, avoid it. The second thing is the use of the word suggest. I've often heard people say, I suggest you or I suggested. I suggested him to do something. That's incorrect English. Suggested ke baad, normally, directly the activity ka naam aata. Like, I suggest trying out that food. I suggest trying out that dish. Or I suggest that you try out that dish. You can never say, I suggest you try out that dish. Though people say it in a flow, it's not the ideal way of using suggest, okay? When you suggest someone, you're not suggesting an option to that person. When you say, I suggest him, that means you are suggesting this person as an option. I don't know if that made sense to you. So let me break this down to one simple rule. You can only suggest something. You can never suggest someone, okay? So if I want you to check out that bookstore, what I'm going to say is, I suggest that you visit that bookstore. Not, I suggest you visit that bookstore. So I hope you got that. The third thing for today is how to improve your writing skills. The most common question that I'm asked is how to improve essay writing. Kids and parents believe that the more essays you write, the better your English will become. That's not correct. Okay, if you want to improve your essays, you need to indulge in reading. And by reading, I don't mean essay books. I don't care if you're reading novels or short stories or comics. Okay, if you're reading Archie's, if you're reading magazines, if you're interested in cars, you can read automobile magazines. Uh, if you're interested in fashion, you can read Vogue. Uh, if you're interested in cooking, you can read some cooking book. If you're interested in interior designing, you can read interior designing books. You don't have to study English. You just need to read, okay? And read anything that interests you. The more you read, the more English shows you watch, the more uh, movies you watch, the more songs you listen to, uh, the more you try and converse in English, all of this will reflect in your writing skills, okay? So I know you might think that, sir, isme trick to kuch bola hai nahi. how do I improve my essays? Well, this is how you improve it. You are not going to improve your essays by reading five essays overnight and writing six essays. 
it's not going to help you in any the only way to improve essay writing is to not do it mechanically now you know practically you're thinking that's a ye sab bolne ki baatein hai grade 9 and grade 10 mein time ka milta hum log ko books read karne ke liye or parents might say that sir no matter how much i try and make my kid read he hates reading there's no solution if you're sick and if i give you a medicine and you don't want the medicine just because it tastes bad that's not an option that's the only medicine you have to take it likewise over here the only way to improve it is to read i don't think you'll ever meet a person who scored well in english language but doesn't read you'll find people who scored in english literature because literature is all about memorizing so even if your english is bad you can still score 100 on 100 in literature but in language if you want to score it's all about your written skills it's all about how you process your thoughts whatever you think has to be put down on paper and for that you need to be fluent you need to be expressive okay and in order to be expressive you need to learn how to express if you want to learn how to express the only way you can do it is by observing other people observe how other writers write and this cannot be done by reading essay books or or by studying english language harry potter is a very interesting book everyone loves it but if i suddenly tell you that i'm going to ask you questions from harry potter you know study chapter number 5 i'm going to ask you something ye hua suddenly a pressure builds up on suddenly you start viewing harry potter as something that's boring that's exactly the problem with language if you want to improve your language stop treating it as a subject accept it as something that's a part of you okay you have to embrace the fact that english is all around you memes le lo trolls le lo इंस्टाग्राम पेजेस ले लो ट्विटर ले लो कुछ भी ले लो तुम लोग जो भी पढ़ रहे हो इंग्लिश में है मोर यू रीड द बेटर इट इज फॉर यू आई होप यू स्टार्ट रीडिंग टूडे स्टार्ट स्मॉल इफ यू आर इन नाइन्थ ग्रेड ऑलरेडी एंड यू हैव नेवर रेड अ बुक इट्स ओके स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक्स इट्स नेवर टू लेट टू स्टार्ट रीडिंग इन एट लाइटन नाउ नॉर्मली आई नो फिफ्थ ग्रेड और सिक्स ग्रेड रीड इन एट लाइटन बट इफ यू आर समी यू डजेंट लाइक रीडिंग बुक्स यू हैव टू स्टार्ट देर देर इज नो वे यू कैन मूव इन टू कॉलेज एंड नॉट नो क्लासिक्स Uh, I meet a lot of college kids who don't know who Peter Pan is, who don't know who King Arthur is, who don't know who Robin Hood is. When I say Robin Hood, they think of Chulbul Pandey. That's not right. These classics are a must know. You should know who Huckleberry Finn is. You should know who Tom Sawyer is. These things are important. Try reading. Start somewhere. Okay, start somewhere. Start with one paragraph a day. I don't care. Okay, just just read. All right. So that's all for today. Uh, three things. Quick summary. You tell someone. You say something. suggest something tell someone say something suggest something speaker tells the listener speaker says something you suggest something and read thank you for tolerating me stay safe don't try trimming your beard at home bye